about. <laughs> Speaking of phrases, Doyle's got plenty of them. He once said that you don't stop playing poker because you get old. You get old because you stop playing poker. His hand here is going to make him feel young. Ace King suited. All in. He puts Dennis all in. Huge re raise. Doyle ready to gamble. Looked like a good spot. <laughs> Dennis folds, and Doyle picks up 11,000. At table four, Annie Duke now in front, a chip lead of 42,000 over Jerry Yang. She has 10-7. And raises to 9,000. Queen 8 for Jerry. You almost get the feeling Annie's thinking, come on, just do something. Re raise to 19,000. With 10 7, that isn't what she was hoping for. But the re raise isn't big enough for her to fold. 10K to win 28. Good thing she called. Duke flops two pair. Jerry's got control of this pot out of position. Going to be compelled to fire the continuation bet here. Let's see how much it's going to cost him. That's 30,000. 30,000. That smells like a go away bet. Come on. And he puts Jerry all in. Not that it mattered that it smelled like a go-away bet, considering Duke has two uh, pair. Take it down. That raised too rich Jerry for Annie Jerry's blood. Annie Duke went all in. I could see Annie floating or playing back at Jerry, even if she didn't have two pair there. Just really felt like Yang wanted her out, and why would a big hand want her out? Back at the feature table, Brunson's lead now 36,000 over Phillips. Blinds at three and 6,000. Queen five for Dennis. It went up, didn't it? Three sixes. Make it 16 then. He raises to 16,000. Phillips pulling the George Bush here, staying the course. Suited connectors for Doyle. He calls. Phillips probably relieved not to hear the words re-raise that time. Dennis pairs his queen. Doyle pairs his six and checks. Phillips bets 24,000. 24,000. All in. Doyle puts Dennis all in. Calls the 24,000, raises all in. See, Dennis is going to make that bet with such a wide variety of hands that I understand what Doyle's doing. I call. He calls. I got the queen. You got it. Brunson might have been a little impatient here, though. Dennis at risk of being eliminated, but he does have the best hand. Familiar territory. Best hand up against Doyle. Doyle with very few outs. We know what happened that time, though. And it's mm. three. That was a bad one. Yeah. Seven no longer good. Dennis, the man at risk Here's this time around. Will he hold? <laughs> he six. will. He fades the six and takes a commanding chip lead. Now you got chips left. Just when it looked like everything was going Doyle Brunson's direction, a devastating turn of events has the fat lady warming up her pipes. Tough to question one of the all-time greatest, but I get the feeling that play isn't going up in Doyle's trophy case anytime soon. Phillips has a commanding chip lead and the semis in his sights. High above the Las Vegas Strip, the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Welcome back to the Caesars Palace Tournament Poker Room. Quarterfinal round action, and Dennis Phillips with a nearly 7-1 to lead over Doyle Brunson. Who's got exactly seven big blinds. Ace-5 for Phillips. He raises to 16,000. What a great oh, time for Doyle to have Ace-King. He goes all in. Goes all in. Snap Dennis call calls. from Dennis. I got a bare ace. Huh? I got a bare ace. Nothing else. Oh, I'm killed. Ace-King. 
Custer making a stand here, but will it be his last? Ace King looks great right now, but we're a flop turn and river away from full focus. King, right? Doyle pairs his king. Dennis pairs his five. <laughs> Facetiously excited about that is Dennis. He knows he's in real bad shape. Deuce, Doyle has to fade the two remaining fives to stay alive. <laughs> We've seen that before. Phillips looking for the landing pad. Lock made it work for Mercier. Flush seals the deal. Doyle doubles up and stays in the match. Got a little over 80,000 now. Timing was bad. That's what I needed last hand. Hard heart. Call it less than 15 big blinds. Not a ton of play. At table four, Annie Duke is attempting to master a complex juggling act of poker, celebrity, and parenthood. I actually took a lot of time off from poker this year. The reason was that I just really wanted to spend time with my kids. By the time I came back around to playing, I really, 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 really wanted to play. This is what I'm supposed to be doing right now, and this is what's important to my life right now. I'm definitely very excited about poker. I think that I've got a way to mentally balance it better now, you know, hopefully. We reached deep into the music library there, Craig. That's, what is that, the wood flute? <laughs> I think I just saw Pan run across the screen. <laughs> but in all seriousness, it is a hard juggling act for anyone, but of Annie's caliber, everything that she's making work at the moment, kudos to her. Ace-7. Raise, make it 16,000. She raises to 16,000. Jerry with Jack-8. And less than 90,000 in chips. I call. He'll call. Call. Jerry's defended Jerry almost 100% of his blinds in this match, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't think there's been a limp in this one. The all pain on the flop connects with neither player. And Jerry reaching for chips. Now, last time he let out, he fired two barrels. And on the turn, he got Annie off of a flush draw. This is a different board this time, however much more likely for him to be bluffing here. He bets 25,000, and Annie calls. Duke with the flush draw. Check. Jerry checks. Flush draw is not the big part of this hand. It's the fact that Jerry is checked to her, and now she's got control and is going to bet. She's playing this exactly like she would a king or a queen. She puts Jerry all in. Set a bet. Or even a flush for that matter. <sighs> Jerry wants no part of it. He folds. Really no other option for Jerry Yang at that point. Across the way, Doyle Brunson still outstacked almost three to one against Dennis Phillips. And with the blinds at three and six thousand and not heading the other direction, only going up from here. Doesn't bode well for Doyle. Dennis with ace king. 16. He raises to 16,000. Doyle with 9 7 suited. No shortage of ace kings in this deck. He calls. Dennis pairs his king. Big flop for Doyle as well. Pair of nines and a flush draw. He checks. We're going to see action here, no doubt. Dennis bets 27,000. Top pair, top kicker against a pair and a flush draw. I got a feeling. All in. Doyle goes I all call. in. Snap call from Phillips. Yep. We got a true coin flip on our hands, 50 50. 9 7 to Diamonds. Aaron of Flush Draw. Doyle Brunson. Top Doyle top in top danger top. of going Dennis home. I, I really don't want to see a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> well put by Phillips. <laughs> Doyle doesn't improve. Dennis still has to fade 14 outs. 